Beyond the flags, parades, and pride-themed products, there's a group of activists, performers, and journalists that helped shape the public consciousness. But not everyone has gotten the full Hollywood treatment, even stars of the stage. Like Cosinel, French for Ladybug, a renowned club singer whose gender reassignment surgery made her a media sensation after World War II. Her 1960 marriage was recognized by the French government and the Catholic Church. It opened the door for legal transgender marriages. And Bayard Rustin, a civil rights icon who came out in his teens and, according to his partner, always lived openly. Law and order do not exist in a vacuum. They exist out of social justice. He mentored and helped Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. implement practices of nonviolent civil resistance. Yes, I do. I think uh, nonviolence is still the best approach. He fought against racial discrimination and segregation, and some of Rustin's ideas became the model for the freedom rides of the 1960s. He even helped organize the 1963 March on Washington and posthumously received the Presidential Medal of Freedom. For decades, this great leader, often at Dr. King's side, was denied his rightful place in history because he was openly gay. Also at the forefront in the fight for civil rights and marriage equality. This has become a, a political question also, just the whole, whole question of how Asians are regarded in this country. Journalist Helen Zia, whose advocacy started at a time of intense anti-Asian sentiment in the United States. In Detroit, two men who beat Vincent Chin to death because he thought they thought he was Japanese were indicted today on federal charges of violating Chin's civil rights. Zia led the fight to bring federal civil rights charges against two Detroit men for Chen's death, although the sole conviction in the case was later overturned. Part of the justice was to make people aware that this was a racial crime and what race, racism toward Asian Americans is and that it exists. Many people credit Matlovich with advancing the fight for gay rights in this country. He was discharged from the Air Force two years ago after he announced he was a homosexual. After serving in the Vietnam War, Technical Sergeant Leonard Matlovich came out to his Air Force captain in a letter and began to lay the groundwork for members of the U.S. military to serve openly. When I was in the military, they gave me a medal for killing two men and discharge for loving one. Matlovich was awarded the Purple Heart and Bronze Star, but the Air Force discharged him because he was gay. Matlovich fought it in the courts, won a settlement, and his discharge was changed to indicate what he already knew. He served honorably. I never had a choice to choose to be straight or gay. If I had that choice, I love being a gay person. I love being a moral person. I love being a productive person to make society a better place. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.